Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are under pressure to come up with better ideas for Netflix after bosses were underwhelmed by their plans, it was claimed this weekend. According to The Wall Street Journal, many of the shows pitched by Harry and Meghan were too similar to some of the streaming service's other big hitters, such as Emily in Paris and Heartstopper. The title branded them big ideas, subpar execution. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community Productivity has also been an issue, it has been claimed. Since the $100 million deal was signed in 2020, the Duke and Duchess have starred in the six-part Harry and Meghan and produced the documentary Heart of Invictus. A Great Expectations prequel called Bad Manners telling the story of Miss Haversham and the patriarchal world in which she lived is also believed to be in the works. Plans for a children's cartoon called Pearl featuring powerful women from history were vetoed before it went into production. The Netflix deal is due to expire in 2025. It's been a challenging few days for the Sussexes after it emerged that Spotfee has axed their £18 million contract after just one series of archetypes, where Meghan interviewed high-profile women about the stereotypes they had faced. Bill Simmons, the company's head of podcast innovation and monetization branded them grifters in an extraordinary outburst on his own eponymous show. I wish I had been involved in the Meghan and Harry leave Spotify negotiation, he said. The fucking grifters. That's the podcast we should have launched with them. I have to get drunk one night and tell the story of the Zoom I had with Harry to try and help him with a podcast idea. It's one of my best stories. Body language expert claims to spot Charles and Camilla's hidden side, latest, peep show actress joins Royals at Ascot due to close link with King Charles, spotted, King Charles came to heal family rift with Harry and Meghan despite history, spotlight, while Harry never produced any of his own content for Spotify, he did pitch some ideas including one involving his children Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Some of his more controversial pitches included sitting down with figures such as Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin to talk about their childhood and upbringing. This plan was dismissed as questionable at best, particularly given that these men have never shared such personal information about themselves before. The talent agency that recently signed Meghan, WME, said, the team behind Archetypes remain proud of the podcast they created at Spotify. Meghan is continuing to develop more content for the Archetypes audience on another platform.